Hi everybody, Mrs. Lotz here. I just wanted to read you another five minute Pete the Cat story. Today's story is about Pete the Cat learning to surf, so I think you're really gonna like it. Pete the Cat at the Beach. It's a hot day. Pete the Cat climbs in the car with his mom and his brother Bob. They have snacks, a surfboard, and a beach ball. They're heading to the beach. Pete finds the perfect spot in the sand for their blanket. Let's go in the water, Bob says as soon as they've unpacked. Maybe later, says Pete. He watches as Bob swims out to catch the big waves. Bob likes to surf. Pete likes to watch. It doesn't take long for Pete to get hot sitting in the sun. I'm hot, says Pete. Why don't you join your brother in the water, asks Mom. Maybe later, says Pete. He decides to make a sand castle instead. He is hot, but at least he's having fun. His mom helps him build the castle nice and tall. They're just about to put on the finishing touch when his mom says, here comes a big wave. Pete jumps out of the way. Pete's castle is washed away by the wave. Bummer, thinks Pete. He looks out at the water and watches Bob ride a big wave. Wow, says Pete, that looks like fun. Come on, Pete, says Mom, let's take a walk. There is lots to see on the beach. They find seashells, tide, pools, and a crab. It buries itself in the sand to stay cool, says Mom. Pete wishes he could be cool. He decides to get his feet wet. Ah, thinks Pete, the water does feel pretty good on my hot feet. It's time for lunch. Bob swims in from the ocean to join Pete and his mom. They eat sandwiches and drink cool lemonade. The sun is very strong. Pete is dry and hot, but Bob is wet and cool. It is so fun out there, says Bob. I must have surfed 100 waves. After lunch, Pete asks Bob to play catch with him. No thanks, says Bob. I want to surf. I'll play ball with you, says Pete's mom. They toss the ball back and forth. They get hotter and hotter in the sun. Let's get our feet wet, says Mom. Okay, says Pete, but just our feet. The water is cool, it feels good. Pete gets a little brave and goes deeper and deeper into the water. Bob waves to Pete. Swim out here so I can teach you how to surf, Bob yells. Pete thinks about saying maybe later, but the water feels so good. Let's do it, he says. Lie on the board, says Bob. Pete lies on the board. Paddle your paws in the water, says Bob. Pete paddles forward. He waits for a big wave. A big wave comes Pete's way. Stand up, says Bob. Pete stands up and he wobbles. It is hard to stand up on a surfboard. Pete falls in the water. It was a little scary, but it did not hurt. He climbs back onto the surfboard. Good job, Bob says. But I fell down, says Pete. That's okay, says Bob. You'll stay on next time. Try again later. But Pete doesn't want to wait. Let's try again now, he says. Pete lies down again. He paddles out and waits. Here comes a big wave, he shouts. I know what to do, Pete thinks. He stands up on the board. It's a little easier this time and he rides the big wave. Wow, says Bob. Way cool, little brother. For the rest of the day, Pete and Bob share the surfboard. It's okay to be afraid, says Bob. Yeah, agrees Pete, but it is more fun to surf.